Welcome back to Switch to Linux. Well, today we want to have a look at the little changes involved in Plasma 5.20 that was recently released. There's a lot of people indicating that this is one of the, the greatest and biggest bug fix releases. And in reality, having a brief look at this on uh, KDE Neon, the testing ground for Plasma applications, then I kind of agree. There's a lot of really neat things. I mean, a lot of it's... A lot of it's just streamlining Plasma and getting it kind of in, into the modern world. And some of it really is, some of it really is fixing a few bugs and a few other little lingering issues. And uh, the first, before we dive over and have a look at the desktop itself, well, let's go ahead and talk about Wayland. Uh, it's still not 100% ready, but they made a lot of changes with Wayland to bring this into uh, into the modern standards. And so we are starting to see a lot more of that. There's going to be some system D changes in 5.21 coming down the pipeline as well. But as far as the the rest of the changes, some of them are, are pretty minor and some of them are, I'm not sure if there's anything really groundbreakingly major in here, but let's go ahead and have a brief look anyway. So I installed this guy as Plasma, uh, excuse me, KDE Neon, which is the testing ground for uh, all things uh, KDE. And when we first land on the desktop, it looks pretty much the same. Uh, really visually, the only thing you're going to notice right here is that they've adjusted and changed the date in the calendar that they're going to have the, the date down here under the clock that was not uh, down there in the past. Now, one of the great things about KDE is uh, this, desk, uh, this desktop is it's one of the few that out of the box has a lot of modern elements. Of course, Gnome, Gnome and Cinnamon, and maybe Budgie as well. You look at XFCE, Mate, uh, a few other ones. Some of those look a little bit dated. This is one of the ones that does look very modern out of the box, other than, hey, they give us the more skeuomorphic icons rather than anything else. But let's go ahead and have a quick look at the changes. One of the things that we will indicate right away is the on-screen adjustments uh, are uh, revamped and they look a whole lot nicer, a whole lot more modern. So this is the one for the volume that you can see. There's another corresponding one to the the screen brightness, but since I'm not on a laptop, I can't show you that. They've also changed down here in your system tray. They've actually changed this. Instead of giving you a giant list of things, we actually get nice icons. I think this is a, a really good improvement. So here you can see your update notifications, notifications updates, night color controls, all these different items are now built in here into the icon formatting. Again, fairly minor. Now, bringing things into alignment with your modern day operating systems, these guys now are behaving in the same way that they do on the new versions of Cinnamon and on Windows 10, where these guys are not launchers, they are task icons. So this does bring it in with the modern standards. Although, as you guys know, if you follow my channel, I hate this. I think it's, I think it's, uh, there's a lot of problems. <laughs> the first is I really want to see the open applications and full window view down at the bottom because it allows you to switch between things quickly. That's what caused the workflow to be so good. Now, basically you have this panel with just these quick launchers that will only give you on a single click, minimize and maximize that individual window. And this all remains useless blank space. Whereas in the old method by loading these guys up, you could actually see which icons are open. Now, the great thing about Plasma, you can always utilize widgets and add that back in in a heartbeat. So this is not a big deal breaker. It just is the way that the, the new modern system is working. So for whatever that happens to be worth, uh, that is one of the major changes that we have. The other major changes that we are going to spot are inside of your system settings. So what they've done in here now is they've given us options to see the things that we've changed. So as we are making any changes, so if I switch over to Breeze Dark, 
there is now a button down here that says highlight changes, uh, change settings. So you can click on this, you can see it now highlights in orange. So you can kind of see what is, what is really different without having to go through and apply if you forgot what something was. So there we have it. There's kind of your, your more darker style to it. You can also see here that the individual changes that, that were done throughout the system. So let's go ahead and do that. And it's going to keep a notification of all of these individual changes. Now, that might be a little annoying. Of course, you can hit this and change it back. But if you do want to reset the system back to all the defaults, this actually gives you a very quick option to go through and see exactly what has been changed and what has not. This is a huge improvement because Plasma, the one big criticism of it that I think is valid in a way is that there are so many settings you can get lost in the settings. And to easily see what has changed from default is actually a really nice option to have. Now, if it was perpetual, it would drive me crazy. But the fact you can toggle it on and off is awesome. We also have, uh, if you go down into your volume settings, this is something else that is uh, really interesting. Go into audio settings here. You actually now have the ability to control your left and your right speakers independently of each other. And so that's actually a, a really cool feature that we have inside of here. A lot of other things inside of here are redesigned for modern UI and standards. Uh, Bluetooth is as well. Of course, Bluetooth is disabled because this uh, machine does not have Bluetooth. But that is definitely a feature that they've changed around. The other thing that I can't show you because we are on a virtual machine is they have actually enabled smart utilities now for hard drives. So if you are running this on bare metal, there is now a smart indicator. That is if you are unaware, the smart indicator is an internal test done by a hard drive itself, which will tell you if there's good sectors. It tells you that the... Uh, how the disk is surviving just kind of gives you all of these these things about about the disk all very good and very useful information I wish I could show it to you but since we're on a virtual machine I cannot do that as far as other changes uh, there are hundreds and hundreds of things that are actually changed under the hood so if we go to um, if we go ahead and have a look at the website we'll go ahead and uh, see all those different changes that we have and so here's that full change log here. Just so many little things. We're not going to comment on any of these, but little typos, little uh, bug fixes. There's some changes to the icons, themes, discover, some changes to that. A lot of features, a lot of changes. Nothing in here that we're really going to go through. But you can see that this is a actually a major update to Plasma, which does seem to be, as I'm playing around with it, it has added a lot of stability. It has added a lot of modern function and feature to it. Some things I'm not a huge fan of, but nothing that's really bad because, I mean, you can just go ahead and uh, run alternatives and, and things like that, run the, the widgets, a lot of good options. So there is a brief note on Plasma 5.20. Definitely worth having a look at, and I don't know. I'm thinking I might go ahead and throw Plasma on my Arch system now because... I've been running Cinnamon for so long. Let's go ahead and play play with a little bit of Plasma over there, see what I can do with that. Then I'll give a go ahead and do a, a full run of this, see how stable it really is, see how well it works with everything else that I am doing. So there we have it. Let me know your thoughts of Plasma and this particular edition. There are a few other changes, like I said, we didn't cover, but for the most part, those are your major changes to this. It is bringing Plasma into much more modern views, and it does maintain that balance of full customizability with allowing you to see the things that have been changed from your system. Of course, allowing you to easily default, res reset everything back down to defaults. So let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Thank you for watching this video from Switched to Linux. This channel would not be possible without the backing of the program supporters scrolling on the screen now. You can be a supporter at Patreon at patreon.com slash T-O-M-M or at thinklifemedia.com. I also want to thank the open source community who creates such excellent software that makes producing this show possible. Please remember to support your software communities. Thank you, and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.